Hi there. This module on the governor of Texas focuses on how informal and formal powers are granted to the governor and how governors use those powers differently. The first lecture lays out the formal and the informal powers and, and attempts to convey how informal powers really are of critical importance in an office as limited as the governorship of Texas. We then turn and talk about Rick Perry in another lecture and the way that Rick Perry's long governorship uh, really was unique, but also tells us things about what does make a successful governor powerful. Uh, in the, from the insider videos that follow, you'll see uh, clips from interviews with Barry McBee, with Evan Smith, and with Senator Kirk Watson from Austin, all of whom talk about different aspects of the powers of the governor's office and in most cases talk about their experiences with specific governors. The final sort of chunk of, of work, the putting it all together and getting involved segments, then move you very much into the present. There are articles that discuss the current governor and lieutenant governor, Greg Abbott and uh, Dan Patrick, and about how the leadership is, is, has been shifting since Perry and, and, Le and Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst left office, and then you'll work with some recent polling, as you have in, in other segments, to assess the governor's messaging power um, in comparison to some of the other statewide officials that are out there. So we think that when you're through with this, you should have a, a, a pretty subtle sense of the position of the governor in both in the executive branch and vis-a-vis -vis other actors in the system and, and what it feels like to have to negotiate um, the particular challenges of being the governor in a state that divines the governorship the way the Texas Constitution does. So enjoy and go ahead and get started.